a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Friday, June 14th of 2019, and you're listening to episode 196 of the BCC Podcast. Joining me today, we have the majority of the OG crew, starting with Maluris. I am dead tired right now, just physically, not emotionally, or, you know, on a Well, you'll be emotionally dead bed. after this podcast, I can tell you that. Well, you're making me I don't feel know. It. Ford's not here. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Also joining us today is Leo. Every muscle in my body is going to be sore tomorrow. I, what did my, you every do? Muscle did you say something about the today? last Jedi and Ford beat you up or something? What no, happened? no. A- after work today, I went water skiing. After Does water skiing, make you sore. I mean, I've only very, yes, tubing. yes, it very. Does. Every muscle huh. in your body is taut, except for maybe your neck. So is it good exercise? Huh, very. Yes, very. Wait, swimming and like all water stuff is like yeah. Well, very, I know swimming very is, but water skiing isn't really like swimming. You think you don't get in the water just because you're on a water ski? You fool! No, I mortal. don't even get in the water, but you're not doing that the whole time. Yeah, what you're doing is you're zooming around, planing, jumping you the wake. You have to hang on to something going like. 60 miles an hour. No, not 60. I'd rip your arms off. It's going 30 at the most. Oh, well, I like, I don't know. Fine. (laughs) Why do I imagine Leo trying to do a flip and then ending up as that guy that lost a finger? (laughs) No, he does a flip and then like 10 years later, it's like, you, you're finally awake. You know, we got, we got, you you fell into a coma trying to water ski across. Oh boy. And finally, we have Orion. Hey, folks, how are y'all? Are you physically exhausted like everyone else? Not really. Except me. I'm feeling pretty good. Good. Good for you. Yeah, I feel great. Eat it, you losers. I mean, I feel great, too. I'm just really tired. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. I feel great. I just (laughs) feel... (laughs) I feel good. I feel great. I feel (laughs) wonderful. Ugh. Oh, the endorphins of pain. So we've got a couple main big pieces of news today. We're going to talk about the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga video game, which was revealed over E3 this whoop, week, whoop. as well as discuss the Lego Jurassic Park T-Rex set, which was revealed, and the controversies that surround it for some reason. Wait, there are controversies around this? Lego controversies you... are like the funniest thing. Why? You haven't heard of the controversies? No, I haven't. Okay, well, Have it, the, the people world? causing the controversies are basically the people who I've been complaining about a lot. <laughs> so you mean the A falls with trains? Basically, but we'll Wait, get they into actually it. complain about trains. What? No, they complain that Lego doesn't make enough trains. But we'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get. To it. We're yes. gonna go over an article by Hugh at Brickset, uh, which is actually a good article. So uh, Hugh, I remember his journalistic excellence back in the day. Look, it's been like <laughs> it's been four three years, years at this point. I think it's time we forgive him for that. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Basically, well, okay. they all look the same. Back on uh, when uh, Bionicle G2 is still around and the second year is starting, Hugh was supposed to be covering, was it Bri- Toy Fair London? It was, it was or... Toy Fair. Yeah, I think it was London. Or was it the German one? <sighs> I yeah, can't remember. They all the look the forget. same. The Germans. The, <laughs> no, but then he was like, he like went in every theme. He went into detail about what he saw in each set, and then for Bionicle, all he put was more of the same here. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, I, I like that. And the thing is, though, if you remember, the second Toa were like drastically different in well, build he, he was and talking style about the, be- the beasts. Oh. Okay. Was he talking about just the beast? Yeah, it was. It was the beast that was being displayed. Was okay, yeah, the beasts new. were even more different. <laughs> They had a totally different aesthetic. And Each build one had and... a different build inside. And then he said they had a bunch of pieces looking like teeth. What? If anything, they look more like beards. Yeah, it was weird. He got chewed out for it really but, hard. But we digress. A lot of A-Fall still don't think it was bi- Bionicle as Lego, so... Well, 
it's not anymore, am I right? That's like saying it's not Lego it's anymore. Like, that's like saying Galador <laughs> is not Lego. I was going to go with that first, but then I realized that joke's been used too much. Yeah. All right, so let's get into the topics of today and start off with the reveal of Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Oh, now, yeah. if you listen to last week's podcast, if being, being the operative word. I haven't even listened to it because you guys haven't put it out yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's Leo's fault. No, it's not. He's holding us back. My uh, yes. my audio is up the day, the night, <laughs> the evening after. The Whatever. Day, the night, the evening. <laughs> After, <laughs> after the day and the night and the evening, that's when it went up. You know, my audio after. just went up. It's like but I did not upload an IMK file. I uploaded a .mp3 file. So did I... no, no, I did. on the I folder. All right, it was a .imk <laughs> file. I don't even know what that means. I looked into the file, and essentially, it was like an the file that. No was auto-saved, essentially. Like, the auto-saving part <laughs> yeah, of the So it's file. like for restoring backups, well, basically. You can yeah. blame my sister for overloading the breaker to the house. Then, for, <laughs> so, wait, how did exactly did that happen? How they, do you overload the main breaker? Two appliances up to the same outlet. Oh, so it wasn't the main breaker even. It's just your house is wired horribly. Well, well all, everything in the house went out, so... <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how or why. Or did you yeah. blow? A f how many fuses did you blow? <laughs> no, we just had to flip the breaker back on. Oh. Mm. Leo, do you still use fuses? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, yes. In why? certain Wait. In certain handheld technology, they still put fuses, like in a multimeter. Handheld? What? No, not those. Like I your mean, multimeter. In your house. In your no, house. not in the house. Yes. There's still breakers in the house. Do any houses still use fuses? I feel like that's like, like way against regulation at this oh, point. Yeah, we use gaslight, you know. <laughs> and asbestos in the walls. Oh, yeah. I, bet, I wouldn't be surprised if Orion's house had asbestos in it. Well, well, most houses do. If you have popcorn ceiling, you have asbestos in your house. I don't have popcorn ceiling. Okay, we well, we, is, we took the popcorn blaster. off the ceiling. Does that mean the asbestos went with it? Wait, you wait. You don't know what popcorn ceiling is. I ate the is? no. We we took the popcorn off the ceiling. From the ceiling, is wait, that do you, wrong? Does, do you guys not know what that is? We do. I no, do we know, what, know it what it is. I grew up in a house with that Mal, on the ceiling. Mal said he didn't know what it is. I don't know. I don't usually look. Mal, at you my live ceiling. in the south. How do you not know what this wait, is? You, you've never looked at your ceiling. Like okay, if, if from the ceiling, inside or the outside. If your ceiling looks like the outside. inside, the ceiling is only on the inside. If your ceiling looks like it's just like really rough. What? How would you look at the ceiling from the outside? <laughs> that's not the ceiling, that's the roof. Well. What? Okay. I, I'm confused. I am no, too. Pop, pop Apparently, ceiling. Kevin has never looked at his ceiling. Ceil okay, Mal, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to look up. All right. Yeah. Now, is your, is your ceiling, like, rough and look like it has little pop marks and it's, like, raised and bumpy? I mean... Everything does if you look like close enough. No, oh, not no. like that. <laughs> but like, kind of like super obvious. It doesn't look no. like garbage. But okay. No. I, I, I thought you meant like the basement. If I went up to the basement, saw like the ceiling of my roof. You know, like the, how can you see the ceiling of your roof from your basement? <laughs> it's complicated. Okay. What? <laughs> uh, let's Did move you... on. I don't even... How did we get on this? <laughs> I think Mal just... He does have lots of asbestos. He has, like, brain cancer. And he just... He's what thinking. is cancer? I... I <laughs> look, Mal, I popcorn ceiling. to look at my basement floor. What is cancer? What... What is cancer? Um... He you know, there's cancer lego star wars the skywalker saga no it looks no, great it sounds like a great dance. idea how could you say this okay so here's, here's one question i want answered has it confirmed that the only voice work is going to be the grunts apparently as according in to tradition Kevin just before this and i had only just heard this no so they say Blast. like there's voices, which makes me think it's 
voice acted or they like did Are the, the same thing with voice like acted though the i mean kind of but i i think it would be more like you know less of a deal for them to like post it with the official information about it but i don't recall them posting this I'm trying to find a tweet with it, but uh, I saw it fairly recently. But mm-hmm. did everyone read the articles I posted about the people who got to play the games hands-on? Mm-hmm. I believe so. So they have, first off, the camera mechanics and the combat mechanics have been totally overhauled from what I'm hearing. Excellent. Which that, is awesome, wait, I know. What's getting overhauled? The camera Game and the mechanics. combat mechanics for the game oh are totally goodness, overhauled. Finally. Which so, if, so if anyone this is actually gonna be like a real game and not just... no it's not yeah it's, they said it's you not can gonna just aim be your blasters and there's improved lightsaber combat so, so it's so, not just gonna be so a it, real it, game like, it's gonna be a playable game so a real yeah. game and not just like a Lego cash grab essentially yeah okay that is so weird to hear though it's like I oh and it sounds like also you can take ships and fly to different planets. No, so, it, that's what the article said. Not, it sounds they, like. They've promised a very a, a huge open world, right? Yeah, oh, I talked about open world, being able to fly, and people have said, but, like, the oh, space combat's really cool. This is probably a lot like uh, Lego Lord of the Rings, then, to some degree. That's except Yeah, except with better. Well, yeah, better in every way. Better in every uh, conceivable way. I can't believe, also, how, like, amazing the graphics are looking for this game. Yeah, it's it's such a step up from just <laughs> from from Lego Marvel superheroes well, too. Like, <laughs> like the picture they have with uh, with Lando and R two D two on the header there. I like how you can see it looks like the the ground will interact with the footprints of the characters, mm-hmm, which they or, have done before, but not to a really detailed extent. Yeah, this is like yeah. when you could finally walk through the snow in GTA and leave a trail behind you. <laughs> Revolutionary. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's something we've seen, like, on all the Tatooine, which I assume these are in-game screenshots. That's I a good-looking Bantha. And that, like, they get sand on them from walking in the sand. I, I um, hope I hope there's, like, survival mode, like Skyrim, where <laughs> if, you, if you don't camp out. Is this going to be, like, they're going to totally blow us away, right? No. It's like Red Dead Redemption, where there's no. just, like, miles and miles of just open world to, like, ride across or whatever. <laughs> Actually, what? it does sound like there's going to be a ton of open world. We'll see how much actually comes true, but imagine, it... imagine if Traveler's Tales also makes a creation kit style engine that you can make mods for this. They're not going to do that. Yeah. I know, but you can dream, right? I really wish like we could get, you know, uh, Mars Mission or or no Space Police, a Lego Space Police video game in this format. That would be awesome. Wouldn't it be awesome to get like the Lego Classics, the video game? That, yeah, it could be like an anthology kind of thing. Yeah, that would be so cool. The exactly. closest we've gotten is Lego City Undercover, but and the thing is, though, I was so blown away by this because all of Lego's other recent games since Marvel Super Heroes have sucked. Lego Marvel Super Heroes too. They've looked really horrible compared to this. Like, the graphics have been bad. The voice acting is abysmal these days. It used to be pretty good. (laughs) And the gameplay has been not updated at all and really stiff. Like, Lord of the Rings and Marvel were the last two good games they made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The one one thing I want them to keep is the character customizer from Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Because that was a good... That was the only good mechanic in the game, <laughs> really. I haven't played a Lego game since uh, Lego Lord of the Rings. Actually. You don't need to. Don't well, need except to. for Marvel. That Marvel is fun. Yes, Marvel is fun. The I first disagree. One. He hates superheroes. Remember? <laughs> well, you are a liar and a thief. It's interesting too, though. If this is having all nine movies, you can play them in any order too. By the way, and use like any character from the movies in each level. I want to. So, how wanna large of a download is this going to be? New Star Wars movies, but with all the old characters. Well, no, you have to play the one with the characters from that movie. 
<laughs> I thought you said if we could play with any character, though. Any character from that movie. You know, like, he used to be limited oh. to, like, two or three oh. at a time. Now you have, like, the full wheel characters from what it sounds like. Okay. Well, there aren't, like, a ton of interesting or so Wait, so then are they going to... These new movies, though, it's like, ah, yes, I want to play as, uh... Han Solo. I want... Oh, yeah, my, my favorite, cool, unique character, uh, Maz... Uh, can can I, <laughs> yeah, and can I, uh, and BB-8, yeah. Can I just play as Ara Singh through all nine movies? <laughs> I wonder how many characters this is going to have with all nine movies. This is a bigger roster than Smash Ultimate. Yeah. It probably will be. <laughs> but it still won't see. have Waluigi. What if they put Waluigi in like a story? <laughs> well, if they, exclusive. if they do the character customizer Actually, right, you can make Waluigi. <laughs> Sorry, go on a tangent here. I'm surprised that they didn't put Waluigi in Smash as the new character. If they're going to, it's going to be the last DLC they reveal. Huh. I don't, why are they so averse to that again? No one knows. It supposedly has to do with the rights, I think, but that's but not But Nintendo that owns Waluigi. Yeah, and Camelot would not have any reason, and they've used all these other characters they don't own at all. They have freaking Banjo Kazooie, exactly. and, and they have they have Snake from Metal Gear Solid from like Sony, <laughs> and Sonic. Mm. Yeah, there's from their hated enemy Sega. Wait, Sonic is in Smash? Yeah, you didn't yes. Know that? No, that just strikes me as weird that. Their competitor, Sega, would let them do that. Yeah, that's why they're making building up to this. Sega kind of well, died. Well, Sega's not anyone's competitor. Uh, I'm just. Yeah. Or, you know, they also do the Mario versus Sonic at the Olympic Games series. Yeah. Well, this is why they're building up to the sports, Smash Brothers cinematic universe. First, the Detective Pikachu, and now with the Sonic movie coming out. Uh, meow. What if the Sonic movie just never comes out now? <laughs> <laughs> just like Justice League Part Two. <laughs> I cut out, and all I hear when I come back is Justice League 2. Oh, today was supposed to be the day that Justice League 2 came out. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. back when... I heard it. I heard it's more of an indie release. It's not getting, like, a wide theater spread. Is it, you know? Isn't it it's in French? It's a Snyder cut, right? Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to LEGO Star Wars. I'd love to. Are they probably going to have DLC characters, I'm guessing, too. And season well, passes, I mean, since that's the, the norm. The Force Awakens had DLC packs, so... Uh, you know, doesn't this, bet. like, make the LEGO Force Awakens, the video game, the stupidest idea ever? Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, no one should have bought that game. Oh, it's like oh, those idiots who say, bought now, The Hobbit. So it's supposed to have all nine movies. Does that mean Traveler's Tales already knows the plot to episode nine? Yes! <laughs> Or is they gonna, are they going to give them such a preliminary version that the game's going to have a totally different outcome for episode 9? <laughs> oh, that would be them. glorious if that I was the case. I make something up, like, just totally out there. <laughs> like, everyone dies in the end. Well, then, like... who are the people that work at Traveler's Tales? There's, you see, there's really two types of Star Wars fans, and then there's us. <laughs> yeah, or me, basically. Uh... <laughs> hey, no, I'm in the same boat. Okay, alright, alright. And so all is right. Kevin. I don't know. I think well, Leo's if Kevin's there. in the boat, we'll need to throw him out. He's too thin Where am to I? keep this thing afloat. The people you see, you have either the people who think the Last Jedi is a cinematic masterpiece, and the people who think the Last Jedi is cancer. It's just oh, the people that are cancer, really, by like, the way. But the Last the Jedi is a cinematic masterpiece, and we hate it. You know, that's the thing. There are like great parts in it, but then there's also just like so much Stu bad stuff stupid. in it. Too. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a solid 4 or 5 out of 10 for me, you know. It has a lot of bad. <laughs> I, but, you know, you guys are like what? What? I laugh. No, no. I I've, I I've just started laughing every time you say it's a solid something out of 10 for me. It, <laughs> it's a solid it's low just, score out of 10 for me. Look, it's guys, just look, a reaction it's not a bad now. bad film, but it's like it's like a solid 3 out of 10, all right? You know. <laughs> it's not and you know, on my ranking, that's not so bad. Sonic, bad films at one. It was. It wasn't that bad. A solid one out of ten. <laughs> it's I mean, I mean, it, it's it's better than Messinex. Zero out of ten. Great graphics. One out of ten. Uh, the, just the more I think about, it, I get it, like all these like all these block pushes, If you make me think about them too much, I'm just gonna like them less. Like. Another thing that I don't like about the Flesh Jedi is like some of the color grading for it. It's like a weird yellow green like color. Here like, we go no. again. <laughs> well, well, like do you guys have you guys, have you guys seen it recently? 
I haven't seen it since I walked out of the theater. A lot of of the scenes on like the island with Luke, it's all like like this really. It's it's too long to watch again. No, yeah, it's it's because you have all these great scenes, but then it's too much of a cinematic masterpiece to watch again. And just like the drawn out stuff with like Poe and the Resistance that should have actually just been the first quarter of the. You know, I think about it, the movie doesn't need to be more than an hour and a half. The, the movie actually, well, no, the movie can be longer, but I feel like the movie is, like, stuck in the first act for more than t- three-fourths of the movie. <laughs> Which it is. Yeah, I, I mean, pretty much. That, like, that's like a, it'd be well, different that, if, like, the fair, chase though, like was Empire actually Strikes suspenseful. Back has the same problem. It's just less egregious in the bad stuff. But, like, Empire Strikes Back is actually good. Yeah, it's not the best Star Wars film. It's pretty weak. But, but it's I mean, still it's the greatest really Star Wars good. film. Yeah, exactly. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Just like how Finding Nemo is F tier Pixar. <laughs> I agree with that. I yeah, hate it, Finding it Nemo. Really, I really don't see much of a quality difference between Finding Dory and Finding Nemo. Honestly, okay, I do see that Finding well, Dory okay, is even right, worse. All right, but... Finding Dory's worse. It's like is there well, a actually tier the only below reason it's F. worse though is because Dory is the main character. Well, and it's like way more kiddy than Finding Nemo. Also, it's yeah. like Maul yeah, Finding Nemo had violence his right in the beginning. Character progression for the last movie, apparently. Oh, like, I, guys, of guess being what? Overprotective. Toy Story Four. It's it made me cry. It's a necessary part of the Toy Story franchise, <laughs> and it has a hundred percent of Rotten Tomatoes. Guys, how can it be bad? It's not bad. It's Pixar. Pixar. I Pixar honestly feel bad telling some bad. people that that Pit Toy Story 4 is going to be bad because, you know, these people don't know. They don't keep up with the news or recent Pixar movies. They just know that every time they've seen a Toy Story film, they've loved it. Yeah, and well, now, uh, but Toy Story 3 hard is to literally their just dream. Toy Story 2, but with, like, different graphics. So. You know, I, I so thought that the Muppet, the, the last Muppets movie was joking when they had a song in the beginning about Toy Story 4. No, no, that's because Tom Hanks leaked Toy Story 4, like, a decade ago. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Curse you, Tom Hanks. Oh, wait, are we getting Lego Toy Story 4 sets? Yes, yes, we've talked about yeah, it before. Yeah, we already did. Uh, They're juniors, though. They're terrible. They okay, I was going to say this. Don't buy them. Is there a Don't buy them for your kids. Minifigure, though. We, oh, wait, are we going to get a Lego Toy Story 4 video game? No. No. What what if Lego? But no, no, like what if Toy Story Four makes like a billion dollars though? What if it no, beats it's Endgame? Too late for Lego, it's like Lego only develops things like three years before they come out. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> I mean, it's what you got to do. Like it's true though. The sets for twenty twenty one are probably in development right now. That's Here, let, let's go, let's go ask uh, ask a Neek about this. Well, he's saying for Hidden Side, yeah, that was in development for at least three years before we saw it earlier yeah. this year. Like, think about developing a theme for three years only to have it be like a throwaway theme. Like, <laughs> Hidden like Side. Like Bionicle. <laughs> I don't think Hidden Side's going to be throwaway. What's I hope it? to do more I mean, of those oh, sets. They look I, interesting. I'm looking forward to the Lego Onward sets. No! Finally, mm. I will have Lego furry merch to set on my mantle. <laughs> All right, we got to get back on topic. One other thing I was wondering. Wait, no, I already went over that. I'm no. thinking you have the script for episode nine, which would just be so weird. Is Disney finally going to be looser with the script this time? Maybe they've but just given up it after the last, Jedi. Than the last Jedi. That, that kind of loose. Oh, okay. Like, let act- people actually get stuff for marketing for it. I feel like they should. Like it just. Well, I, I mean, it kind of hurts it in the long run. Like I, I don't know. I, I, it didn't hurt Avengers Endgame, but I was still pretty mad that they lied about the title and everything. Yeah, that did. That was. I'm actually mad, not upset with Endgame though. They like kept a bunch of stuff secret for the merch. That was actually like a move they made that was pretty integral. You know, they did it just because they didn't want to spoil people. They probably made a bunch more money off merchandise if they had like Iron Man Infinity Gauntlets and, uh, you know banner hulk stuff in the merchandise right away i want a banner did we get a banner hulk big fig yet with with dabbing action and yes we do i wanted to just make i want like a a, an entire rubber uh hulk uh professor hulk 
from Avengers Endgame where it's just like this fluid rubbery mass that's just <laughs> like one foot tall and it just like rumbles whenever you pick it up and it just mm-hmm. stares at you, you know. Kind of creepy, but also I see that as an absolute win. What? <laughs> yes, dab. I feel like all the memes from the movie came from him and Thor. Uh, they yeah. they did. Yeah. Uh, six Which out of ten. Bad. It's a solid six out of ten. <laughs> is that what it's gone down to for you it wasn't a seven out of ten i put it down to a six just because i i haven't thought about it at all since i saw it in theaters and talked about it a little bit and i just i don't like some of the stuff in it i don't like some of the stuff in it six i don't out like of ten <laughs> well, i mean I, I don't like some of the just, stuff it, in it it's too but extremely forgettable and stuff i feel like it would have been way what? more memorable what it, no it's no! like the most memorable movie of my life <laughs> no, it, well yeah that climax for climax you, for you no see it's not a narrative climax though it's just like uh, in no like, but we like, have heroic like, imagery no, at yeah, its but finest that's all it is. it's like imagery without narrative back. i love it's imagery like all you got, like, I know I'm out here with my art house. I'm just like, look at the neon, look at all this stuff. But I like, <laughs> but you know, again, I'll make the Lord of the Rings comparison. All the imagery and like Aragorn with the sword and all these moments that they build up to, like Thor, uh, uh, like Captain America getting the hammer. I didn't feel like this this narrative build up, like he earned that moment or anything. I just felt like that looks really cool. But outside of that, I felt nothing. Whereas like. And something look over the rings. I'm like, that looks really cool. And I also feel like this immense sense of, of like triumph for the character or something. You know, well, that's because... also because it has like a killer soundtrack to go well, with it. Well, like, and it's written by the master, Endgame, Endgame has a J.R.R. Good Tolkien. Soundtrack, but it's more or less just like tons of fan service imagery, which is great for fans. But for me, it's like I don't think fans it's like, like story driven as it could have been. Like, it looks cool, but. I'm not care. I don't care about any of these characters really. I know none of them are gonna die in this battle, and some of it looked pretty dumb. You know, uh, a lot of it was. It no, was cool. I don't know. It was cool. I've never but... had like a more emotional experience in well, the movie that's theater because, ever. That's because you grew up with these. This movies was the first Marvel and, like, movie loved, I cried like, the in. Comic book characters and stuff. But I don't know. It just it doesn't have enough meat on the bone narratively to make me care about these cool moments and remember them. Like, yeah, it's cool, but like I'm not. I'm not gonna really like revisit in, it. You know, ten years you'll think it's better. I I'll, I'll, maybe I'll <laughs> in, bump in it ten up to years a when they've when I, they've I actually, gone I down. Tell you guys the hill. This, but I I rewatched most of the MCU. I bumped like everything down pretty much to a six or a five <laughs> or lower. Even Iron well, Man. Last time you bumped. <laughs> Why? Well, just Why like you... overall the effort, I just felt like it was a mediocre narrative effort. <laughs> it's, a, it's a ten out of ten production effort, like ah! producing stuff. <laughs> But uh, like I, I think the the only ones that I like actually legitimately sat through the whole time and enjoyed the whole time was like Iron Man. 2. Well, it's also I, because you sit alone in a dark room watching movies all day. So let's move on. Whatever. We can't talk with Ford about Star Wars Iron again, Man's and we can't talk with you about Star Marvel. Marvel. It's terrible. What? Do you say Iron Man's? Yeah, it's terrible. No, it's not. Yeah, the villain is generic, and like the the fight. It's just really predict. I mean, I know I've already seen it, but it's just like it doesn't come off as like new or or interesting, even giving the time period it came out as. Like it's it like it copies a ton of other final battle moments in blockbuster films. It's just it's all right. It, it all right. And this is just the cycle you go through for all films, so no one's gonna take you seriously no, anymore. No, I still have movies I watched like eight years ago that I still rate a ten out of ten. I have five of them. All right. <laughs> It's one of them, the Emperor's Again, New Groove. No one's gonna take you seriously. Uh, well, the Emperor's New Groove is like nine. So it's a solid what? nine out of ten. All right, even the people who follow you on Twitter mostly do it for the irony of your opinions on this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and no one else is gonna give Nemo an F rating, okay? No one. I, mean, I you know what? What I am gonna give an F rating though. We're actually no. Never mind. Wait. Why is there controversy around this Jurassic Park set? It's like it's a solid <laughs> right. six out of it's a solid six out of ten set. <laughs> so let's start off first. Lego announced the new D two C Jurassic Park. Uh, what's the exact name? Because it's not loading for me. The T Rex. It's a big T Rex. Now this is notable for finally getting the the traditional Jurassic Park gate, which we've never gotten before. As well as a slew of minifigures that we've never gotten, including Dr. Ian Malcolm, 
I think we've gotten Doctor Malcolm. We got Doctor Malcolm. Never gotten Malcolm before. We did. He was in a minifigure pack. We did in the break. It wasn't in a set though. It was a minifigure pack. Yeah, it was an exclusive pack. Like, this one has him with his shirt unbuttoned, though. Yes! It's how I always wanted to. <laughs> yeah, then we also have John Hammond, who we've definitely never gotten before. Spare and no darn, expense. the hacker guy? What's his Ned, name again? Uh, Dennis. Samuel L. Jackson? No, no he wasn't the hacker. He Dennis. Was, no, he's also a hacker. He's just Dennis Needley. Good. Dennis Needley, that's his name. We get him. Oh, the butt guy, yeah. Okay. And Dr. Grant and his woman friend. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Dern from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Honestly, I saw it the other day at Jurassic Park, and I realized she's like the worst actress in it. She's really not very good. She's Her only character... good at, I, I don't know, and all the films. That's why I've she's seen like the only in... one who never goes asked to return. <laughs> Wait, no, ca- she returned for she, she the was in one. For Jurassic okay, Park for like three. Cameo. She was yeah. in Jurassic Park three. Shown to be married to some other guy, which was really I mean, who would weird. leave Richard E. Grant, though? The man's a... <laughs> oh, man. The man's a man. <laughs> yeah, that was just such ha, a weird ha, Have y'all... I mean, I can't remember if I asked this last week or not, but have, have y'all read Jurassic Park? No. 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 It, do you mind if I say what happens in the book? Yes. Well, the old no. man dies. No, all right. Yeah, but... Dr. Grant kills take his shirt off Dr. Grant kills three velociraptors with his bare hands. Bare hands? <laughs> wait, he wait, what? Really? <laughs> he, he like well, not more or less. He 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 takes this this neuro this uh bi- this biohazard material which kills you with just a few molecules and he injects it into eggs that they start eating and and they start dying. <laughs> When they've cornered him, that's in a not room. all with his bare hands. Oh, well, I you know, like Doctor Grant just goes full on Arnold Schwarzenegger from Predator. He also has a like beard in the book. Uh, that would have been a bit more appealing. It would have been better if you know Richard E. Grant showed up in Endgame. Uh, I feel like that would have made the movie better. Yeah, and Molden, well, I mean, Molden Ragnarok. 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 <laughs> Wait, he was? Yeah, the actor. He was Odin. Yeah, yeah, this internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the <laughs> play, at the beginning. Wow. <laughs> did did anyone get that? I'm back. Welcome back. Did you hear what we said? No. I said, yeah, he was Odin in Thor Ragnarok. In the no, play Anthony at the Hopkins, beginning. No. Grant. No, at no, the play, in the play. At the beginning, like. Oh, he's talking about the play that, that thought, Loki is watching. Oh, I thought Matt Damon played all the characters in that one. Okay. No, he was only one of the characters. No, know, and the other know, one was I Luke. Hems. I didn't know that that was. Uh, I think what's the actor's name? Not Richard Grant, <laughs> is it? No, <laughs> no. Oh <laughs> uh, no, it, it Sam sounds Neil, right. Sam Neil, Sam Neil. That's it. Yeah, that was him. Okay, huh? That's interesting. Wait, so, yeah. okay. Why do people not like this set? All right, it's, so yeah. I think it's the you know perfect how... epitome of brick-built dinosaurs, personally. So you know how people there's are this idiots. section of the community. It's a small section, really. Like the Last but... Jedi haters, <laughs> basically, not as bad. Okay. I thought the Last Jedi haters were more prevalent. They are more prevalent well, too. Pr- d- At prevalent. least they try to make themselves look like it. Yeah, At least okay, anyway, yeah, they're yeah, more yeah, yeah. prominent in social circles. You don't see people like complaining about Lego on Twitter in general. You know, it's just like well, you, you have to a look smaller for it, fandom. But I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> see, here's the thing: people, there's whenever Lego reveals anything like this these days, people complain. Specifically, a group of AFALs. They complain <laughs> it's too expensive. For one, it's a license set. <laughs> Or a variety of other things. Which let's go through Hugh's article here and some of the things I believe he made. Uh, what does he call it? A checklist, a complaint checklist, written by CCC. I'm Leo. Do you know who that is? I do not. not off okay. The top of my head. It's owned from the forms over at Brickset. Anyways, he said, "Direct to consumer set complaint checklist. Does it have a vehicle alongside the main build? Yes." Complain that it contains a vehicle and those parts should have been used in the main model instead of wasted on a vehicle. <laughs> no, complain that it should have contained a vehicle and all that and that the unnecessary parts hidden in the main model would have been better used as this valuable addition. 
Does it have play features? Yes. Complain that it contains play features. The design could have been improved without messing it up for play features. No. Complain that it doesn't have play features. You cannot do anything with it apart from display it. Does it cost too much? Yes. Complain that it is too expensive and would have sold better if they had made it more affordable. No. Complain that they could have done a much better job if they have upped the budget and included more parts in the design. I want to pause here real quick. Wait, I, I have a question, though. Are people arguing both of these things? Yeah. Basically, okay. whenever any new D2C comes out, they're like this. And I see the price thing a lot. Like, you also see people but, saying that Lego's gotten so expensive. But Lego the, has actually increased at a rate less than the rate of inflation in but, price. But the pr- the piece count is 3,120, and the price is 250. That's not yeah, bad. Like That's re- really good, actually. The thing is, Lego makes more bigger sets these days. And it has and six minifigures. catered to adults. Which a lot of people don't like that, too, for some reason. There's still sets that are catered to kids, obviously, a lot of them. There's more, the thing is, there's just more Lego sets than ever. And a lot of people are mad that Lay don't like every single thing Lego comes out with. But in reality, we have more variety of sets, <coughs> themes, IPs, original sets, everything than we've ever had before. <coughs> And huh. some people just don't seem to realize this. They think Le- some people are like Legos at the worst it's ever been right now. <laughs> that well, is untrue because it's not bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not like huge on the sets, but I guess they're well made overall for the most part. This is a, this is exactly what I wanted from dinosaurs. Not those honking large pieces, which are okay for the kids, but... Nice, brick-built, fine-detailed dinosaur, like the creator sets of old. You know? Yeah. Except they weren't detailed back then in the old creator sets. Yeah, back back then was like 144p. This is 4k. So yeah, like this gets on my nerves a lot when people are like, well, LEGO doesn't have variety, or LEGO doesn't have this or that. LEGO has, right now, probably a set for any type of set you want. LEGO has Overwatch. Like, not even just license or anything. Lego has basically any genre of set out there right now. People are complaining because they look at the whole and they don't like... What about what? Space. Buy Lego Star Wars. They have so much They just released the Moonlander set. Oh, well, never mind. I I meant, like, an interesting space theme. Buy Lego Star Wars. Well, it's the thing. A lot of sets now aren't specifically in themes either. You'll see a lot of things come out like, oh, wait, and City just had a whole space wave. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we also and we had uh, Lego Lunar Ideas. They, they got, and we got uh, a whole space set. Lego Ideas. Guess who everyone voted for? The space one. Okay, I'm ticked off about that. You people are idiots out there. You voted for literally the worst design. We've gotten so many Lego Ideas space sets. And we could have gotten oh. Stitch or Yellow or even the Atari arcade machines would have been better than... <laughs> <laughs> Another space station. I don't care about it. What is it? It's not special. It's a freaking space station. <laughs> but it's the space station. Or a station. satellite. Sorry. It, it, is, a spa- it is the satellite. International Space Station LQ. Okay. Darn, I couldn't even recognize it then. It is the single most iconic space station, being as it's the only one in use in orbit. Well, yeah, I couldn't recognize it from the set, though. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> What would you rather have made? Skylab? <laughs> I'd rather not make another space set. <laughs> I'd rather have something like, you, you know, Little Yellow or Stitch, which we haven't gotten something like before. L- LQ, did you vote in the poll? Yes, I voted for our Yellow. Ah, excellent. But this one by a landslide. Who are all these people that do, are voting do, for space constantly? Do you know why? Constantly? Are there people rigging the votes? <laughs> no, Na- NASA posted a link to the poll on their Twitter page and said, That's go vote for cheating. this. Disney didn't do it for some reason, and Sega did it the day before the poll ended. That is so dumb, because I'm guessing most of those people aren't even into Lego. Probably. I Maybe these sets sell well, I don't know, but... <sighs> it's really, really frustrating. But anyway... And that, that goes into another one of my points. I don't think people have no right to complain about Lego. Lego screws stuff up still. They do make mistakes like anyone. There's things to criticize. There's bad sets. However, 
I think it is totally illogical to say we're in the worst age of Lego ever. I think, ob- objectively, we are in the best era for Lego sets right now. The designs are objectively better. The variety is objectively better. The quality is objectively better. And we have things aimed at way more audiences than ever. It might not be what some people like exclusively, but that just means you're stuck on one way of thinking, <laughs> and you really need to be open to trying oh, some new things for once. <laughs> yes, you do. Open to trying new things. Don't just watch Marvel movies. Watch DC yeah. movies, too. <laughs> yeah, watch more Justice movies. Justice League like, Part 2. You guys need to watch more movies like Alita Battle Angel. Uh, Bridge on the River uh, Kwai. Pokemon Detective Pokemon Pikachu? <laughs> Detective Pikachu? <laughs> Detective Pokemon? Pikachu, Detective Pokemon. Anyway, yeah, I was saying that they, the people who are complaining about like how LEGO used to be all that much better, really their issue is that they're not trying these new things at all, and they want sets that are just built like the ones that they remember that they're nostalgic for, and they're I, basically I stuck in the past. I don't think I necessarily want sets that were built like they were back then i like i like the way all these newer sets are built i just want more i don't know how to describe i just want more stuff like mars mission i guess like more cohesive themes that have like a unique angle to them you know well that would be like something like hidden side what's hidden side <laughs> you weren't here and we discussed it it's like basically a ghost hunting theme uh, it, oh is it just like some discount halloween type of theme not really. It's fairly. It has fairly unique construction. Is it, like to actually it. out now. Like, can I go to the Lego website and it's on the? I don't know if it's on the Lego <sighs> website, but it's gonna be on Brickset. So here, let me. Wait, what's it called? Hidden Lego side. Hidden Side. Oh darn! The hit picture of the T Rex hasn't been in here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, your rant sufficed to paint an image. Yeah, it has a lot of unique molds and color usage in this set, as well as a lot of vehicles we've never gotten before. The vehicles are actually pretty nice for for Lego right now. Uh, and look like for the actually, diner set. I mean, I kind of I kind of like this. I'm looking at it a bit. I don't know. It it still just reminds me a little bit too much of uh, uh what just like the kind of discount Halloween themes that they really release, like Monster House stuff or whatever. This has the diner has a shrimp though. I mean, I like I like it, but I don't. I wouldn't say this is exactly what I'm saying. Like, like I know Mars Mission didn't really have a story per se. But it kind of did add like a plot. It was like very simple, and then it would escalate as the seasons went on. This looks more like does it have the same cast of characters? You know, or yeah, it has the same cast of characters uh, from Mars Mission. No, uh, no, no. For the e- each set has the same cast. Yeah. Like, Okay, that's interesting. I guess it's not really my kind of thing, but I do think that's cool that they're doing that. Uh, I don't know. I again, I just really want like a unique angle space theme or something. Again. I mean, I would love that too. Which honestly, at this point, I wouldn't mind if they cancel Ninjago to do something like that. Yeah. Well, I, look, I, I love yeah. Ninjago, but my, I'm spending a lot of money on, it and I'm ready for something new as yeah. well. <laughs> what if? What if instead they made Space Ninjas? I'm actually getting like some Lego Atlantis vibes from that this set. See, I didn't like Atlantis that much. Atlantis was okay. It was a, a Lego. Uh, what was before Atlantis? There was Lego um, Power Miners, Aqua Raiders, or Power Miners. I guess I, I like you Power liked Miners. Atlantis though. But anyway, my point is they're doing a lot more unique type themes, and some things aren't a theme, but you'll find a creator set. Based off of almost anything at some oh, yeah. point these days. Well, the thing is that, like, like you said with Ninjago, though, I, I like if I buy a set, I like want to like you know complete a, a, a set wave, I guess you know, uh, like it, it, I still want to do this with the Mars mission. I'm just broke, but I want I want to get like all the sets from that wave because like I kind of like the the atmosphere and like the kind of so, story. <laughs> funny story about that, you know, how just too good. I was saying didn't like Mars mission. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to end my friendship with him then. No, no, he's saying he, he was saying this video I watched, I think he released it today, like, his top ten most disappointing Lego sets, that the reason he didn't like it was because he first got the, uh, darn, what's the one of the big spaceship and the tubes and the pump? Just the main the, mission command like, thing. Like the, 
M1. There's something the eagle, base. I think. Yeah, the eagle oh, command the, the base. Eagle rock. The MB01 yeah. yeah, eagle said command that base. It was so it. disappointing because when he tried to use the pump, nothing happened <laughs> ever. It like pushed it a little bit. Well, it basically soured Mars mission form but, overall. He's but, finally coming but around I, on it. Wait, wait a moment. I got I one of those pumps that. and I used that very well. He did preface it saying that maybe as a kid he just didn't it's, build it right. It's the same pump as in Life on Mars. But to be fair, the build, it really sucks. It I think the build's I, fine. I, I, like I, I love build. that build. It's, okay. <laughs> it's a guilty I like, pleasure I just like of mine. The colors and just like ah, oh, just ah. Uh. But no, again, I love Mars Mission but, too. But like, the, I want, I want a, like a wave for me, like Ninjago for you, I guess. Hmm. You I know? can understand that. Where, too. Whereas something like this uh, Hidden World or whatever doesn't hidden have side. the same appeal. But more of a theme se. you want for it. like something like Hidden Side, but space basically. Well. N- Mm, maybe for this though, I'm still getting it. Feels more like anthology sort of thing. I want something with it, with like either story heavy or just like somewhat story based. And then like I, I don't know. This just feels more like here. Okay, here's a cool idea for this. We do. They just confirmed that is a story theme as well. Oh, it is inside. Okay. Well, maybe yeah. I'll warm up to it. But I don't know. I just want more of those type of things. Like I, I don't know. We have this one. We have Ninjago. We have. Um, I Lego has stepped back from just because. Chima was a very big failure, and well, so I mean, was Chima Nexus. was just bad, anyways. <laughs> Chima, we needed to go back and just look like a thorough review of Chima because I think in some aspects it's better because a lot of the sets it was very unique in design. Yeah, and it had very cohesive and cool designs. Honestly, but, I think what killed it is the show. <laughs> yeah, the show sucked was the problem. <laughs> the well, show. Yeah, the importance of good marketing. Right Even there. then, yeah. though, I kind of like I liked having Chima around just because it felt like a, a cushion. You know, it's like, oh, and then like next to night, the problem themes. is they had bad sets. The yeah. Fortrex is still one of the best sets in recent memory for me. Well, here's the thing. I understand those sets. A lot of people do like that. Like you and Ford seem to like that aesthetic they went for. Oh, I hate well- it. Well, I hate that well, it got aesthetic. worse with Nexo Knights or whatever, where they just it, it like, did. grew I, up orange everywhere. The, yeah, the, uh, they got worse. I don't think I've never met anyone yeah. who actually says that was a great idea to have the transparent orange and everything no, good it going wasn't. Lego. It wasn't the the first <laughs> they had, they, the first wave. Was the best wave. See, next First and second would have been waves. so cool if they went with sleeker, better colored designs. The concept could have worked way better with that, but everything was too blocky and pukey. Basically, the, the show also needed some work. Yeah, because the so the best parts were Jestro and and I'm not sure is... when they're going to be trying that out again. I don't think Lego plans on doing another TV show in the near future until Ninjago, which I don't think a theme has to have a TV show to have story either. No, like, no. But I do think no. we're going to see more themes like that. Again, Hidden Side is something they're trying. We'll see how that does. I, yeah. I wish they would have gone with something more accessible, though, you know, to prove their, like, to, or, like, to start off making more themes because it's, like, horror or scary stuff in general is very niche by itself, but then, like, horror or you know scary lego it doesn't seem like they're get like october will be here before we know it and then they'll just be releasing a ton of like dime a dozen uh you know halloween themed stuff this won't be special yeah i mean i'm you know me i'm obviously not even a fan of haunted house horror aesthetic like at all so yeah and i'm just think of all those christian lego parents who won't buy these for their kids <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ten people are going to be very disappointed. I don't. There, I feel like there's a lot of them. Everyone. Oh, never mind. Everyone on some Lego Discord servers I know, they they won't be getting any of these. They're really a niche audience there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> niche as they are, they won't get it. Okay. I think Lego will be cool with that. Fine. <laughs> Ugh, fine. We'll see how it sells. I, I personally but plan I do on getting at least see, a few. Personally, I'd love to see a Lego high fantasy theme as well. Because mm, yes. like Lord of the Rings, though, Lego Lord of the Rings might come back when the Amazon show comes out. That would be a precedent, honestly. Oh, we also, I think Indiana Jones comes out next year. Lego Indiana Jones might be coming back as well. Okay, that is epic. Let's ask Neek and Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Leo, this is why no one's going to invite you to stuff without us. <laughs> 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 You're lucky you have us to sail your popularity across. Oh, hush. I got along fine. <laughs> got along fine? Leo, you've known us for like seven years. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a time where you've been out in the community like totally alone with no influence from us whatsoever. 
Leo? Oh, that's what you meant. All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we got off base, but the point is complaining is fine, but people are idiots about what's out there with Lego, and they need to, you know, give other things a try, I think. Yeah. I, we basically just made you turn a 180 and be like, Lego needs to try more stuff. They had a lot, like, five minutes ago. Lego has a ton of variety. What are you talking about? Well, there can always be more. There can always be more variety. You're just complaining. You're just an A-fall complaining about the lack of variety in Lego. You hit no, Also, the other thing I want to touch in that I went to earlier is they complain about the price so much. But well, here's the thing: we have bigger sets yeah, and besides, now. These sets are like way more complex than they were a while. They ago. are. Like, they're way more complex. Like even and this detailed. set for uh, the, the inside theme, the, the diner theme one. name is so bad. I'm sorry. No one's gonna remember. Well, that's that. part of like the play feature on it too. Is there's a game that goes along with where you can scan oh. the sets in and then they'll transform on the phone. That. I don't, that sounds like some out of touch, you know, fifty year old Lego execs for like kids like mobile games. Let's uh, never never mind. How's hey. that out of touch then? Hey, well, it, it worked for Nexo Knights. No, it didn't. But yeah, the, that's what I mean. That's, that's the I point. Mean. But theirs was hardly even scanning. This is actually like AR. Yeah, so it's AR. Augmented reality. Augmented reality. It's what Pokemon oh. Go is. Okay. You can't just throw all these acronyms at me and expect me to. Get <laughs> Airbnb? Uh, yeah, I forget like, how much this set, the hidden side set yeah, that like, I brought up Yeah, even though I don't like is... this, though. Yeah, like I was saying, it, like I love like the the printed pieces are all pretty awesome. Oh, there's a Lego Island reference in it, too. Mm-hmm. If you see the shirt on the pizza guy up on the roof. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I want to get that minifigure and then give it like some sleeves, and I want it to be an alternate t-shirt for my sig fig. <laughs> I want a Lego Island shirt. And I want to print myself like a real Lego Island shirt. I want a pepper shirt. I'll send you a pepper shirt and it's just pepper from Iron Man. I thought you were going to like, oh. just send in a box of ground pepper or something. Yeah, the sets are way more detailed. They have way more parts. Also, the minifigures look so much better than even 10 years ago. If you compare a minifigure 10 years old today, 80% of them suck. Oh, yeah, easy. The printing is just bad quality. Okay, though they could print faces on dark colored bodies for some reason back then. Have you guys seen the new Buzz face? It's terrible. No, show me. Don't uh, show him. Okay, let me get into the podcast. He'll be scarred you for life. You know, I've been complaining about this with other things lately. That like the Captain America. Print... This one. See how awful the color is. Yeah, the new Captain like America is like this, too. Look, all they had to do was do increase the want. pigment saturation. Yeah, and you th- don't... remember, they had the same buzz face before. Uh, let me see if I can compare it to the old collectible minifigure series. Because yeah, th- th- this, re- this isn't an old phenomenon. This thing just started like two a year ago or so. Yeah, this only started recently. Okay, yeah. Um... This one has watermarks on it, so whoever put the watermarks on, congratulations, you get some publicity. <laughs> what but is that from? That's from uh, three years ago. Okay. Well, wait. I'm sorry, are you saying they're, one of them is bad, the other? Look not? at the face, the coloring on the face, how it's like so faded and. Oh, are you wait? Are you saying they printed the most recent one? They printed that face on top of the purple. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, like a and direct. They, they did with the other one too. They did the same thing, but for some reason it looks worse. Oh no! I I actually think what they did for the other one is that they made um. The, like when they they made it, they left out a segment where they would individually, you know, put. Uh, dang it! What am I trying to say? They didn't paint the whole thing purple. They left a gap for the face on the other. No, one. No, they didn't. It's a molded purple piece. Yeah. So, then. The, the color has to be printed on. Maybe which... something's just wrong with their machines. It's been going on this like a year and a half now. Mm-hmm. There's an issue with it with Hanzo, the new Captain America. Like, if you just compare Captain America to two years ago to the one that just came out, it's the same thing. Like, it's so faded, and it just doesn't look like the right color anymore. Oh. And they really need to fix this. We are in the dark so, age So, I know Lego. we keep going back and forth, like, Lego is doing great with this, but... Okay, they, like I said, they have things they need to fix. There are things we can complain about, but you can't just... You complain can't get about complaints that are illegitimate. Yeah. 
And they're like, if you really don't like anything Lego is doing now, either, you know, find a new fandom and stop complaining, which you're few people out there. I don't even think any of them listen to our podcast. They wouldn't like us. (laughs) (laughs) Or, you know, just build stuff with the bricks you already have. You don't have to buy more to be into Lego. That's the thing about it. You can just buy, you know, spare bricks. Yeah, you, you know, can buy stuff off Bricklink and stuff. Large Start your Bricklink orphans. shops. And again, though, I want to point out uh, an old Jang video, which, and let's face it, we're not going to remember to link it in the description, but keep a lookout for it, where he goes and shows how the price for piece ratio for license themes actually isn't any worse, and how Lego has not increased at the same rate as inflation. It's actually a really good price for what it was 10 years ago. Yeah, see so in other words, some people are saying that Hugh brought too much attention to the negative people. This I don't think so. And there's some people that go the other way around that act like people like Just Too Good are too negative, which those people are idiots too. <laughs> Honestly, Just Too Good is like the nicest guy. <laughs> Why and do I'm people not, hate him? him? I there's it's again a small. It, it's of people. like people hating me for my bad uh, takes on movies or whatever. I don't. Oh, well, no I do hate him. you. People complain like Just Too Good has too much Lego. For one, though, he does make a decent amount of money off of doing the and reviews. Besides, it's like if you've been collecting Lego for 10 years or whatever, of course you'll have too much Lego. Uh huh. It's like, are you just going to stop buying Lego at a certain point? If you're a fan of it? It's like, I don't understand the logic there. That, that like, it's like, it's like, that man has too much money. He needs to give some to me. Oh, Let's wait, see. that's just like 20% of all Americans. Wait a minute, that's robbery. <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah. yeah capitalism what and they're like if just too good if he was really he doesn't obviously doesn't hate lego he's well, buying it all yes, the time he, like, <laughs> he 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 knows like lego people they give him tours and stuff he doesn't hate it like what uh, we should have him on again sometime yes we yeah. should but can we can we just do it where it's just like you me and mal so it isn't like what? what about Leo? What about okay, me? Well, we have Leo Forget on, Leo. But, just, but just the, but just us, you know. I like the All last right. podcast we did with him. It's just a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> the, okay, the thing with having guests on, this is why we don't do it so much, is we often are incredibly tired whenever we have guests on. And that, we like we and really love a lot to of talk us. over uh, each other too. Like we're competitive, you know, even though we're tired. I, and, it's harder for guests to get into the flow we have. We're used yeah. to talking to each other. Let's see. Yeah. Who's the last, who was the last guest course. we had on? I think Envy. Was Envy? I thought it was kind of a bad. Waj, Poor technically. Envy. Oh, yeah, it was Waj. We talk so well with Waj, it's like he's not a guest. Yeah. Waj just appears so Waj, and he's like a though, member Waj is pretty one quiet, day. though, sometimes, though. He, like, he is. Yeah. Unless we're talking about Zelda. Waj is like a weird combo of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. <laughs> 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 I think. Because he's like standoffish and shy, but he also has that that Poohishness, you know? Like, you, you, wait, what's it line about? You know, I, I do nothing all day and it works fine for me or whatever. I do nothing every day. What, Except are, what is, is that line from the trailer? The only memorable part I don't of that rem- new Winnie I remember the Pooh. what you're talking about. It. I, it, it, it I don't know if Wash does nothing. He's an editing line? madman. <laughs> oh, he said no. It's when Christopher Robin says we can't just do nothing. I think. Oh yeah, I do nothing. And it works out. <laughs> <laughs> but but Wash does more than nothing. He's people an absolute say nothing unit. is impossible, no, I know, I know, but, but I do but, nothing every day. Oh yes, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's that's Wash. I mean. Oh not, yes, yeah. that's it. That's it. Yeah, nothing is possible. I do it every day. Although, although it's like in that goodwilled poo way where he's actually mm-hmm. doing stuff, you know. But then also like Piglet because he's really quiet. <laughs> I don't think Piglet's quiet. I don't. Hmm. <laughs> what? We need to do an in-depth analysis of we, the we, poo. We need movie. to get... did that with the Winnie the Pooh. You know, we need to get Wash to test. take the mental disorders of Winnie the Pooh not... test. Uh... <laughs> I love how LQ is like the most normal of everybody, though. Uh, he had the least it, amount isn't of autism. It obvious, <laughs> though? <laughs> it, it, uh, it's kind of obvious who's 
sane and who's well, less. Yeah, Orion's the one in control of the whole BCC. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> he I know the people who listen to the podcast probably understand the actual hierarchy of the things. Dynamic, but, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sure we're not going to be telling them anything new. LJ, why but don't Orion you listen to the not, podcast? No. Orion doesn't make any decisions, basically. Anything he does, we basically have to run by at least a couple of us. <laughs> And we probably and most, struggled well, no, and, to and, get and, that and much kind of out of him. That's bad thing, though, that our <laughs> podcast audience know this, knows this, but the entirety of TTV doesn't. <laughs> Even though we've met, like, the higher-ups in their group. I think, well, the thing is, though, people who just meet you tend to go along with your crap more than the rest of them. <laughs> only, only, like, 60% of it is crap. The rest is a good, it's a solid 40% good. <laughs> Oh, I usually try to avoid using words like that. It's 9 out of 10, 40% of the time. Ah. Look, I don't qualify that as a square slayer. It's just unsavory. <laughs> Crud! I don't know. Uh, I mean, have you ever tasted yeah. any? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah but people are just way more... Inti- like, at this point, we're not intimidated by you. By who? By you. you! Oh, are people intimidated by me? Yes! For a while, until they realize that... And... Oh. Burn After things. After a while, it's just like, you know, like, like all right, okay, if you, people are intimidated, are people intimidated by you? Remember the Pixar tier list? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got Toy Story 2 trending because people were angry at me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> what? No, wait, I don't think they were intimidated. Uh, is that intimidation? I don't think that is. They were intimidated I mean, by you like, and had to feel retaliate. Really threatened by what you're saying. <laughs> That's because people are just cry babies about like nostalgic stuff they love. They're not willing to take any criticism, regardless if it's good or bad. I take this offense is true. to that. Like but anyway, that. yeah, Orion. Anything Orion does. Besides, is this by us. will be different. I'm not going to be as energetic because I'm not going to drink any energy drinks. I'm actually going to get some sleep. And I won't be as anxious, so I'll actually... Will you still be eating spam out of the can? We actually planned everything out this year, so we shouldn't be on a bad sleep schedule. Sorry, Leo. Yeah, no, we're not. No sorry. one got either of what we said. Yeah, Ryan, yeah. Will, will, you still, <laughs> will you still be eating spam straight out of the can? Um, I don't know. My tastes have kind of moved on. I'm now Good. eating red kidney beans out of the can. <laughs> you know, you did that last year, too. <laughs> yeah, I did. I just didn't carry it around. I, I want those Polaroids... That Matoro took of LJ tackling me with the can of spam, or wait, no, no, wait, did she get Polaroids of that? The audience could hear what he said, and I assume it was entertaining. Yes, yeah, but I didn't. So. I didn't get a word of it. Connect. All right, I'm back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I, I thought yeah. we had gotten Polaroids of the spam when LJ tackled me. That, but no, that's actually I think Envy uh, videoed that for his Brick Fair vlogs. We have Polaroids something of something we, somewhere. That, I don't know we what have, became of them. Matoro said she'd send me some prints of them. It's of when I tackled LJ uh, in the bread suit. Well, ping her in our chat and see. I PM'd her and she said she'd send them. When? when was this? Did you Two give her your ago. address? Then PM again? <laughs> Did you right, remember? That's why I always call people out for things publicly because then they're forced, you know, to do it. Here, wait. I'm just going to PM her back. Bruh, where are those Polaroids? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. But yeah, we have actually scheduled everything for Brick Fair this year, so we should be getting some sleep. Except we also have a l- huge list of movies we need to see together, <laughs> so forget that, you know? It's, just... it's, it's a work in progress. The menu has also been selected for this year, though we decided to take less input on it this year so we can eat some food that's not bland. Also, I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know if I can buy everyone a steak, so what I'm going to do is probably just do rock, paper, scissors like last year for the big bedroom. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll win again, obviously. <laughs> like I know how to win rock, paper, scissors nearly every single time. You can't beat me. I'm unbeatable. Ryan, that just means now that I know you have a method, so it's going to be easy to beat you. No, that's just my trick. And He's showing weakness. Part of my trick to let you know that I let you know that I have a trick, and I'm also, that's also part of my trick. But, Ryan... You just activated my trap card. Leo, you're not even going to be there. Yeah, Leo. I know. Wait, if Leo's Unless not suddenly there... you decide you can be there. It's not too late. <laughs> yeah. It's probably going to be next Leo year. Being there out of like everyone else who couldn't be there, I'll probably miss Leo the most. Thank you, Ryan. He's going to be the only one not there, so of course you'll miss him the most. 
I could just uh, not I mean, show like, up it, if you, if I mean, you it, want. I mean, last year it didn't matter if I was there or not. The whole BCC was together in that hotel I still, room. I still <laughs> love how we were eating perfectly good lunch, and I suggested point blank, you know, looked LQ in the face and said, should we get Mal something while we're here so he has something to eat when he arrives? And he's like, nah, we'll just get him something later. <laughs> but all the restaurants are closed at that point, and we had to go well, to okay, Wendy's. Okay, for one, he was two hours late. Well, whatever. Two hours late, we he we things would have been open at eight o'clock. Lunch. We almost robbed Wendy's to get him something. You know? <laughs> Look at eight o'clock. Everything would have still been open. I thought Wendy's was twenty four hours. So no, did no, we? It they was, had closed but the front. They had closed they, the front. Yeah. Oh. And we walked. I almost drive went through. in with the beanie pulled down over my face. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't have been taken well, but it would have been taken worse since that door was supposed to have been locked and it really would have looked like we broke in. <laughs> No. And again, no. this is the whole thing. I'm not going to have any more energy drinks this time. I'm going to be sober and, you know, just clear-headed the whole time. Oh. Uh, so, by the way, we're going to Brick Fair, Virginia, which yeah. is in <laughs> August. We hope to meet a lot of people. Are more people coming that we know? Yeah, more people are coming that we know than before. I'm pretty sure Slime's supposed to be there this yes. year. Yes. Yeah. And, hopefully... and then we have... Uh, wait, I forgot. Who Several pe- members of TTV, although I'm not sure who's been confirmed publicly, so let's not throw them under the bus. We'll just throw them under the bus when we get there. You know? Yeah. Hopefully I don't drive by bus this time. Well, you already bought a plane ticket. Yeah, but I Mal. could just buy a bus to run over TTV members with. Man, Mal's <laughs> really tired. <laughs> I, I am right. exhausted. Well, we went over time, so it's going to be time to end this. Six episode. minutes counts as overtime? Yes. I mean, I'd be my paid work, for it this. Does. <laughs> Do you get overtime? You should get paid pay? if you go six minutes overtime, shouldn't you? That's like it goes oh, into yeah. the next hour. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you do. All right, good. Well, I mean, we're not paying Leo. That Patreon money either goes to Cooking Hero Factor or just Brick Fair shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Well, well, mostly yeah, to we actually. And, and hardware, actually. Well, I mean, yeah, that, pretty much. Which is brick fair shenanigan hardware. So, thank you all for listening to episode 196 of the BCC podcast. We talked about, I guess, three things today. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> but they're at some pretty less. deep and complicated topics. What do you think of the people who complain too much? <laughs> you know, about Lego or The Last Jedi. <laughs> Actually, can someone leave a couple comments and and someone leave some comments in the comments below about the last. Someone Jedi, please leave want, comments. I guarantee you, someone is gonna look at that video, go down to the comments, and see that, and then they'll like try and argue with you, probably. And then <laughs> our video might explode with yeah. popularity well, no, from I, the controversy. I doubt it'll explode. I I would probably take a screenshot of the comment section, and it'll get like. 200 times more uh, attention on Twitter than the video would. <laughs> if you made it this far, please comment chaos theory in the comment section. What? Please comment no. about how much you hate Bill Nye. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, or talk about the recent Lego controversy and your thoughts on that. Do you think Lego is really the worst it's ever been? Or do you just not try enough stuff? Yeah, actually, I'm most curious about that. Be honest. Do you please, try please, enough stuff? And, and please do this on the video itself. Even though we do have a Discord, please do it on the video itself. We need to fight YouTube's yes. algorithm. Well, yeah, uh, that's a losing battle, well, but we'll try anyways. Yeah. yeah. Well, also, we, we do have a Discord trying. server. Please Something. don't just show up. Like, go into the server, take one look around, and just leave. Stick When's the last time we had a new active member on the server? No, well, someone I, everyone, just showed up today. Someone just showed up and then left, I think. That's Interact. what I mean. They're not active. They never talk. Interact. Say something. We're lonely. Please. <laughs> the someone, who is it that's scaring them away? I don't know. I think it's the people who always reply with, Hey there, like it's the automated <laughs> message or whatever. We should probably do something about that. Yeah, it's we like, shall put dear, down like, the you're not going to get a mod position just because you keep greeting people. That's not why I he's kind doing of already... it. <laughs> I already. Mean, we, we barely want to keep the mods we have now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, our, the only difference between our main server. And the BCC public server is that there's people in the public server. 
Um, like, like there, there's not much interactivity difference. We're, we pretty much are actively able to mod the whole thing anyways by ourselves. <laughs> well, well yeah. I mean, you guys did take my mod privileges away, though, I think. Did you? No, you still have them. No, you we should took, have them. We Wait, took Leo's can... away. Yeah. I want to... Keep... Why'd you take mine away? We, you, it we was a while ago you. when we fired you. Yeah. When will you and give them back? I don't think we ever... Yeah, you have permission that. to kick people and everything. Yeah, that's... Ryan? I mean... That's mostly what I need. I want to kick Wadden for unsubbing from the Patreon. No, don't do that. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, our patrons are up there. <laughs> yes. Uh, have been, due probably. to constant demand, I guess, you guys will get a Cooking Hero Factory before Brick Fair, but it's not going to be Cooking Hero Factory 5. It won't be a rush job. It's going to be Cooking Hero Factory 6. I mean, it will be a rush job, like all of them were. But, um... <laughs> But you guys will actually get some content for that. Although I, I'm I'm still working on like the grand finale thing. I've been working on it for a while now. But wait, now are you? It changed from episode five to the grand finale. Well, because I'll technically be releasing episode six instead of episode five. See, it's like uh, it's like David Lynch sort of like episode six will be just your normal Cooking Hero Factor with some tie-ins to like the plot driven weird number five one i kind of fear what's going to happen to our patreon once we announce the cooking hero factory is over um well it was never planned you know be go on forever and i don't think everyone realizes that not that there won't be something you know like in the same well, i mean it's vein. been a whole year since the last one i know so <laughs> it's definitely well it's definitely still gonna do our, like crazy live action content like that yeah. was not cooking hero well, factory forever once i like move up you know uh with mm -hmm. you guys and stuff Although I have a feeling that I, I do, I want to start my own.